Chancellor Barron, I declare the afternoon session of the 97th commencement of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith convened. Distinguished faculty, administrators, and staff of the university, graduates, parents, family, and friends, welcome to the afternoon ceremony of the, Uni of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Spring 2017 commencement. Let us take a moment of reflective silence to consider the importance of this celebration in all our lives. Please remain standing and direct your attention to the arena floor. The colors are presented by the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Reserve Officer Training Corps. Please remain standing and join music graduates Deborah Ellis, Leela Nickel, and Leah Schimberg as they lead us in the singing of our national anthem accompanied by the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Symphonic Band. Will all men please remove their caps? Please be seated. Men may replace their caps. I would like to introduce those seated on the platform. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. I'm going to say that with the first exception because I'd like to introduce, first of all, our newest member of the University of Arkansas System Board of Trustees, Tommy Boyer. Trustee Boyer, we're honored by your presence here today, and, and we're happy that this is the first UAFS uh, graduation that he's come to, and we hope to see him at many more. So please appreciate uh, Trustee Tommy Boyer. I'd like to introduce the administration, academic deans, and others from the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Dr. Georgia Hale, Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Lee Crable, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, Dr. Mary Lackey, Vice Chancellor for University Advancement, Bradley Sheriff, Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration, Dr. Edward Cerna, Chief of Staff and Associate Vice Chancellor for External Funding, Dr. Margaret Tanner, Associate Provost and Director of Graduate Studies, Dr. Ron Darbo, Dean, College of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, Dr. Paul Hankins, Dean, College of Communication, Languages, Arts and Social Sciences, Dr. Carolyn Mosley, Dean, College of Health Sciences. Dr. Ashok Subramanian, Dean, College of Business. Dr. Ken Warden, Dean, College of Applied Science and Technology. Major Jason Hogue, Assistant Professor of Military Science. Eric Smithson, Chair-Elect of the Alumni Advisory Council. And Wayne Womack, Registrar. Please give them a round of applause for their work. I'd also like to introduce 
Gary Campbell, who is a member of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Board of Visitors. Please thank Mr. Campbell for his service. We have several special guests with us today. Uh, I'm going to ask them to rise and be recognized as I call their name. Uh, my wife, Janice Barron, who is at every graduation. Uh, I'd like to also recognize former Representative Shirley Walters, whose daughter is graduating today. Um, Representative Matt Pitch, and the Vice Mayor of uh, Fort Smith, Kevin Settle and Mrs. Settle. Thank them for being here. Seated before you are members of the faculty who represent the academic departments of the university upon whose recommendation candidates for degrees are presented. Faculty members, please rise and be recognized. The success of an institution also relies on the hard work of its staff, many of whom are here today. Will the staff please rise and be recognized? They're, all, they're everywhere because they're helping us make this work. Thank them. Thank you. So my brief message to the graduates this year is simple. If the degree you're getting gives you a sense of accomplishment and security, you need to rethink and redefine both those terms in the 21st century in which you're living. What you need to know about the degree you are getting is that it serves two purposes, both of which have a short shelf life. First, whether you're receiving a master's degree, which happened in, an, in a historic event this morning to offer our, where we hooded our first master's students, whether you're having that, a baccalaureate degree, an associate degree, you have gained knowledge in some general areas that have contributed to developing your critical and creative thinking skills problem-solving ability, and, an and hopefully created an educated and more sophisticated view of the world. The other part of your studies focused on some specific skill sets and knowledge bases important to having comp competence in a particular major. So the educational goal the faculty had for you was to prepare you for a career or graduate school on the one hand, and prepare you for leaving that career to seek another on the other hand. Just take a moment to think about this. I'm finishing my 16th year as a president or chancellor, and my 11th year here at University of Arkansas Fort Smith. How many major corporations that many of you would love to work at did not even exist 16 years ago? Do you think that the people whose diplomas I signed 16 years ago are still in the business or industry they started in? Based on my own non-scientific review of the students who I know and keep up with who graduated back then, I can tell you that very few are still working at the same job and the majority not even in the same industry. And if, and, and if they are still in the same job, what they are doing is dramatically different than it was 16 years ago or 15 years ago when they started. You don't have the time to relish your sense of accomplishment and security for long. This weekend, you need to celebrate. Go take a picture with your loved ones out by NUMA. Um, enrich the economy of Fort Smith with, with an extravagant trip to a nice restaurant. Relax tomorrow, you deserved it. You, you, you earned it, you deserve it. But Monday, Monday, you need to be on the quest for relevance in a world changing at astounding speed. Staying relevant will take continual learning, Staying relevant will mean continual skill development. Staying relevant will require that you remain open to new ideas. And my final point to you, the one ability you should have developed during your educational journey is to know the difference between opinion and fact. Unfortunately, our country and the world in general is having a hard time being able to discern the difference between the two. Just because somebody says something, whether, even if that person is famous or allegedly an expert, what they say is not automatically fact. My hope for you is that you've learned from your educational and intellectual inquiry here at UAFS, supported by your professors in this endeavor, that everyone has a right to their own opinion, but everyone does not have a right to their own facts. 
I wish every one of you a rewarding and fulfilling life journey. Now I'm waiting for you to go out and make the world a better place. Let me move right into my introduction of Dr. Georgia Hale. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Georgia Hale, Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs here at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith, who is gonna be your speaker today. Dr. Hale holds a Bachelor of Science in Education and a Master of Science in Business Education from Arkansas State University and a PhD in Business Education from Arizona State University. She's held the positions of Associate Dean of Business at Arkansas State University, Assistant Dean of Education at Iowa State, Associate Dean of Business at UAFS, Dean of the College of Applied Science and Technology at UAFS, Associate Provost at UAFS, and now I'm very happy to say that I convinced her that UAFS needed her steady and wise leadership as Provost here at UAFS about three years ago. When I asked Dr. Hale for a brief biological, biographical intro, she indeed gave me a brief biographical intro. I told her that her brief introduction opened the door for me to embellish and in her inimitable style, she smiled and said, I kept my biography short because I knew you were gonna say what you wanted to anyway. And indeed I will. And what I wanna say is that Dr. Hale is one of the best people personally and professionally with whom I've had the pleasure to work with over my 39 year career. In an understated but powerful way, Dr. Hale leads the academic enterprise and the backbone of what we do here at UAFS with grace, style, direction, and humanity. She grew up the eldest of 10 brothers and sisters in Eastern Arkansas with parents who expected the best from her. Her family and her faith are the basis for her ethical and moral compass, and the true north of her compass never wavers. She's the kind of person who pays for a young man's tuition so he can move forward in his studies and not lose momentum. A fact few people know, but that exemplifies her spirit and intention. I could not tell you one person on this campus who does not respect Dr. Hale as a person, an educator, and a leader. Doing what's right for students in the academic enterprise is what drives every decision she makes. I asked her to speak today because even though she's far more comfortable doing her work from behind the crowd and not in front, her voice as a leader deserves to be heard. Please welcome Dr. Hale. Thank you, Dr. Barron. That introduction is longer than my speech. But, but I, I do appreciate Dr. Barron appreciating me and the value that I add to this institution. I've been here long enough to see it grow and flourish, and I'm very proud to be a member of the senior staff. We have a good team here, and Dr. Barron is a very, very good leader of that team. To everybody else here this afternoon, good afternoon. First, to each of the graduates, congratulations. Today is a very special day for you and for those who have supported you along the way. So I extend congratulations to your support systems also. In the past few weeks, many of you have been recognized at various ceremonies. Numerous people have wished you well and given you words of encouragement including me. In fact, during the Academic Excellence Awards ceremony this year, I asked, addressed those of you who were present by saying, and I quote, in a few weeks, you will put on your robe, you'll put on your medallions, your pins, your cords, your collars, everything that's wearable that's an award, you will put them on, and you will walk into the Stubblefield Center to get your degrees. So, here you are, and my goodness, you look great. Audience, don't you think they look just fabulous? <laughs> At that same event, I went on to say, you would sit through a commencement address, which you would probably not remember. I did not know at the time that I would be the person delivering that quite forgettable uh, address. But here I am, standing before you, compelled to present it to you anyway. On several occasions this year, 
I have had the privilege of visiting with, with uh, two individuals, not together, but um, on, their, on their own. One is a new faculty member and one is a student leader here at UAFS. And each of them requested those meetings with me. At the end of each meeting, each of them asked if I had advice or words of wisdom that I could impart. I would like to share with you a few of the things that I told them that they said were very valuable for them to know. First, work hard. You have your degrees. Do a good job. It doesn't matter how unimportant you may think your job is. If you're hired, you're important to your organization. You need to show initiative. Don't wait to be told to do things you know need to be done, even if they are not a part of your job description. We hear that a lot, not in my job description. If you're a member of an organization, if something needs to be done, you're hired, that's in your job description. It's other duties as assigned. It has been my experience that you never know who is watching you. And believe me, someone is always watching. Like many of you, I was a first generation college student. Not a single person in my large extended family had gone to college. No one I knew could advise or direct me, nor was getting a college degree an expectation. Don't get me wrong, I had great parents. They, they supported me in whatever I wanted to do. However, unlike finishing high school, which was not only expected but mandated, getting a college degree was not even part of the discussion. I had the opportunity to go to college because someone saw my potential. He encouraged me to go to college, helped me to do so, and gave me my first job right out of college. The two most significant promotions I have gotten in my career occurred because someone was observing my work ethic. I can almost guarantee you that if my work ethic as the interim provost had been just mediocre, I would not be standing here before you today giving this commencement address. Sometimes we hear it said, is not what you know, but who you know. Well, sometimes it is absolutely what you know, and you have learned a lot since you have been here. Sometimes it is who you know. Other times it is who is getting to know you by observing you. So again, be an exemplary employee. Number two. Choose your battles in the workplace and in life. We live in an imperfect world filled with imperfect people surrounded by imperfect circumstances. Perfect means flawless, complete, lacking nothing, needing no improvement. I don't know about you, but I don't think I know any person, thing, or situation that can fit that description. Because perfect, perfection is elusive, things are going to happen that will throw you off balance from time to time. They will cause you to be frustrated and maybe even angry. Rather than lashing out about every little thing that may go wrong, use those, channel those frustrations and anger to resolve whatever is wrong. Have you ever seen those Snickers commercials where Someone, usually a celebrity, is having a bad day, which turns him or her into someone else, usually another celebrity. Seen those? Well, my office staff, on more than one occasion, has come into my office and said, here, have a snicker. You are not being yourself today. That gesture made me laugh. But it also reminded me that I was expending too much emotional capital on small things and losing sight of our larger overall goal. So I am telling you to reserve your energy so that you will be prepared to fight for those things that really matter. For example, stand firmly against things that are unjust, things that endanger the most vulnerable among us. For example, children, the disabled, the elderly, 
and others who may be disenfranchised. Stand firmly against those things that interfere with our democratic processes and things that violate your conscience or compromise your integrity. If you rant and rave about every little thing, people will not take you seriously when you decide you need to fuss about bigger, more important things. So shake off the small stuff. Have a Snickers if you need one. But more importantly, concentrate your energy on working to resolve issues that will help your organization grow and that will address problems that plague our society. Finally, pay it forward. Acquiring a college degree is a significant milestone in your life. As you reflect on this moment, each of you can probably think of people who helped you on your journey. My guess is many of those people are here today to make lots of noise when your name is called. And that's great. That's, that's what they're here for. And you deserve it. Many of you, in fact, last night I went to a pinning ceremony and uh, several of them said I wouldn't be here if it were not for. So all of you who are sitting here today can probably say, if it were not for you fill in the blank, I just would not be here because somebody helped you to get here. So I urge you to strive to be that someone for someone. Mentor, encourage, champion, and promote wherever and whenever you get the opportunity. Always remember that someone did the same for you. As I close, have an exemplary work ethic, regardless of the job that you have. Fight for people and causes that make the world better. And as you progress in your careers and in life, pull somebody along with you. In a few minutes, I will step to that podium over there. And I will ask every one of you to stand. And I will recommend to Dr. Barron that you be awarded the degree for which you have worked so hard. Now, you may have forgotten what I've said in the, I think, seven minutes or so. You may have forgotten that. But I, if I were a betting woman, I would wager, I would wager mm, maybe a dollar that you will not soon forget those few sentences that are soon to come. On behalf of the administration, faculty, and staff, here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Congratulations, you have earned every bit of the praise that you're getting today. We wish you much success and happiness in your life and in your careers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Hale. So, now we're getting to the part that you're going to get up and walk across the stage, so I'm going to give you a few instructions. All right, first of all, you're going to get one of these. This is not your diploma. Right? There's a note in here that says if you've paid all your bills and don't owe us any money, then we're going to send you your diploma. <laughs> but this is, this is what you're going to take your picture with. All right? So a professional photographer will take a photograph of all graduates as they receive their degrees. Please do not come forward to take individual photographs so that we may keep congestion to a minimum and allow the audience an unobstructed view. Graduates, please remember to stop for a photograph with me after you have received your diploma. And right up here, there's footsteps here that I'm gonna be stepping on. You will not get past me without stopping for a photo photograph. Some people say they don't like photographs, but you need the photograph, not because I'm in it, but because you're in it. Second graduation from university is a happy time for all of us. I ask that as the names of the graduates are read, show your pride in their accomplishment with appropriate reserve and dignity. And third, out of respect for the graduates and their families, please remain until all graduates have been recognized and the recessional is complete. And now I call upon Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Georgia Hale, to come forward to present the candidates for their degrees. Will the candidates for all degrees from the University of Arkansas Fort Smith please stand? Dr. Uh, Dr. Barron, each candidate standing before you has completed a prescribed course of study defined by the faculty. 
The names of candidates graduating in absentia are listed in the program, but will not be read. Some candidates are wearing medals as, as recipients of the Academic Excellence Award as selected by the faculty of their program. A number of candidates have completed their studies with a grade point average of at least 3.6 and are identified as academic honor students by an honor stole, which they wear. The honor status of each will be announced as their name is called. On behalf of the faculty of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, it is my pleasure and privilege to present these candidates for the awarding of technical certificates associate degrees and baccalaureate degrees. Will the faculty of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith now stand to show concurrence? With the concurrence of this faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University of Arkansas system, I confer upon you your respective degrees with all the honor, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Faculty and students, you may be seated. Wayne Womack, the university registrar, will now come forward to assist in the presentation of diplomas. The graduates will be called forward by the dean of their college, Dr. Ken Warden, the dean, College of Applied Science and Technology, and Dr. Paul Hankins, the dean, College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences. Uh, the name of each graduate will be read by Bob Stevenson and Dr. Elizabeth Mamond, faculty members from the College of Communication, Language, Arts, and Social Science. A faculty marshal will lead each group from their respective college. The graduates from the College of Applied Science and Technology are being led today by faculty marshal Professor John Martini. Edward Graham Boris, Bachelor of Applied Science, magna cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Beth Kibler, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, magna cum laude. <laughs> Lisa R. Lennon, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, magna cum laude. Wendy Jean Learned, Bachelor of Applied Science, cum laude. <laughs> William Clayton Knappel, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Brock T. Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Ashley Noel Reagan, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Naomi Collette Lee, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Cassidy Megan Riley, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Hannah Yvonne McGowan, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. David Leland Posey, Bachelor of Applied Science. Anthony David Atwell, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jason Lance Kendrick, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jared S. Holt, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Brooke L. Slayton, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. <laughs> Angela Marianne Gilbert, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. <laughs> Nicholas Chandler Davis, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. <laughs> Jessica Madge Wynn. Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Shannon D. Kirkendall, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Ryan Joseph Zuba, 
Bachelor of Applied Science. Luke Michael Jones, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Lucas Tyler Moore, Bachelor of Applied Science. Adrian C. Pigas Hayes, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Morgan Lindsay Scott, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Tiara Danielle Ellis, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Rochelle Elizabeth Crowder, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Timothy C. Walthall, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Tracy D. Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Leah Dell Mason, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Wesley Dwayne Garner, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Taylor Marie Gardner, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Miranda Jane Robertson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Caitlin H. Freeman, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Rhonda Gail Brown, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Shalada Marie Ferguson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Heather Dawn Parker, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Eric Danielle Castellon, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Seth Montgomery Roberts, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Alex G. Cooper, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Sydney Carter Franklin, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Maya Nicole Perry, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Renata Chantel Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jason Wayne Huffmaster, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Tyrell James Bryan, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Mechanical. John Richard Cook, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Mechanical. Jacqueline Alexandra Williams, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Digital Design. Isa Guadalupe Ortiz, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Digital Design. Anna Marie Smith, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Digital Design. Jacob Aaron Todhunter, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. Deidre Masterson, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. Sarah Ashley Edgman, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology, Human Resources. Darren Michael Floyd, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology, Medical Office Professional. Josie Alicia Harvey, Associate of Applied Science, Paralegal Studies. John Samuel Warren, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Automotive, accompanied by his godmother, Linda Parker, Administrative Specialist in the Associate Dean's Office. Thank you. Manny Lee Garza, 
Associate of Applied Science, General Technology Welding. Go Alex Jerome Brown, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology Welding. Go Dylan H. Hustler, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. Yeah, dude. Sky King Rowland, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. Go Remington Shane Jackson, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. Charles Edward Starks, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology Welding. Michael Justin Casey, Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. Justin Michael Moore, Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. Justin Mitchell Ryan, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. John T. Gilbreth, Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. <laughs> Jung Voss, Technical Certificate, Computer Graphic Technology. <laughs> Patricia A. Myers, Technical Certificate, Medical Office Professional. graduates from the College of Applied Science and Technology. <laughs> the graduates from the College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences are led forward to receive their degrees by faculty marshal for the college, Dr. Tony Pern. Enrique Palais Leclerc, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, summa cum laude, cum honorare. He is an international student from Nicaragua. Rachel Grace Townsend, Bachelor of Arts Music, summa cum laude. Emily Ann Stubblefield, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, summa cum laude. Talia Renee Blanton, Bachelor of Science Graphic Design, summa cum laude, cum honorare. Thank you. Nara Marie Ward, Bachelor of Arts Media Communications, summa cum laude. Cornelia Joy Irwin, Bachelor of Arts History, summa cum laude. Brandy Janae Center, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, summa cum laude. <laughs> Joseph Robbins, Bachelor of Arts History, summa cum laude. Bridget Shanae Duncan, Bachelor of Arts Studio Art, summa cum laude. Shannon Nicole Walters, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing, Summa Cum Laude. Jennifer M. Hardaway, Bachelor of Arts, History. Anna E. Vincent, Bachelor of Arts, History, Summa Cum Laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Summa Cum Laude, Cum Honorare. Leela Beth Nickel, Bachelor of Music Education, Vocal Music, Summa Cum Laude, accompanied by her husband, David Nickel, adjunct faculty member. <laughs> Nancy A. Flores Soto, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Lydia Nomad, Bachelor of Arts, Spanish, summa cum laude. Kendra Rochelle Turner, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure, summa cum laude. 
Skylar Lee Adams, Bachelor of Arts, English, magna cum laude. Presley Nicole Wilson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, magna cum laude. Michale Kathleen Tenkley, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Amanda Beth Corbin, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications, magna cum laude. Joshua Presley Harris, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Catherine Lee Brown, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications, magna cum laude. Tristan DeSoto, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure, magna cum laude. Jessica Leanne Brown, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure, magna cum laude. Melissa Gabriella Phillips, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Arts, History, magna cum laude. Christopher Keith Gordon, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, magna cum laude. Richard Daniel Proctor, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, magna cum laude. Kyle Jones, Bachelor of Music Education, Instrumental Music, cum laude. Nina An Vu, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude, an international student from Vietnam. Tra Lee, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Cum Laude. Kayla Brianne Keller, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure, Cum Laude. Abigail Hill, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure, Cum Laude. Sandra K. Dewey, Bachelor of Arts, History. Sarah Ann Kincannon, Bachelor of Arts, Theater, Cum Honore, Cum Laude. Anna Saria Meadows, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication, Cum Laude. J. Michael Werner, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication, Cum Laude. Jerome Anton Kramers, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication, Cum Laude. Aaron Christopher Betancourt, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Presley Alexis Williamson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Morgan Marie Kratz, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Tia Caitlin McCutcheon. Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Megan Nicole Davis, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. <laughs> Hannah Renee Staten, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing, Cum Laude. <laughs> Juliana Vasquez Solis, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Brittany Nicole Hurd, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Macy Lauren Knuckles, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Rachel Ann Powell, Bachelor of Arts, English, Cum Laude, Cum Honore. 
Avery Lynn Warren, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication, Cum Laude. David James Harris, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Alex J. Sanders, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Deborah Elizabeth Ellis, Bachelor of Music Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Leah June Schimberg, Bachelor of Music Ed Education. <laughs> Regina Janelle Smith, Bachelor of Arts, English. <laughs> Cinnamon Kayleen Jarnigan. Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Savannah D. Garner, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Mary Irene Kurd, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Danielle Lockridge, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Margaret Elizabeth Gray, Bachelor of General Studies. Lisa M. Barnes, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jessica Nicole Swaim, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Molly Ann Hicks, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Meredith Ann Hartsock. Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Meredith Reeves, Bachelor of General Studies. Brandon Edward Hart, Bachelor of General Studies. Mackenzie Page Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Carol Ann Page Teeter, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Darius Anthony Parker, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Marissa Donna Murphy, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Briar Isaiah Novellis, Bachelor of Arts, History. Lauren Nicole Ashley, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jordan K. Covert, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jessica Elaine Shackelford, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Daylin Brooke Baker, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Lisa Marie Garrett, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Alexis J. Rivera, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Peyton Hampton, Bachelor of Arts, English. Tulsa Tabrayana House, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Chandler Nicole Harvey, Bachelor of Arts, History. Adam Russell Lucas, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. John Walter Ayers, Jr., Bachelor of General Studies. Matthew Ian Calloway, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Lindsey K. Schluterman, Bachelor of General Studies. Addie Marie Martin, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Chelsea N. Smith, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kayla Nicole Harrison, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jeremy Dalton Trobaugh, 
Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. James Logan Hildebrand, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kyle Jordan Wilson, Bachelor of Arts, History. Elijah Mitchell Snow, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication, Cum Minore. Michael Andrew Menzev, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Zachary Paul Bradford, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Zachary Everett Dale Myers, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Marcus Lyons, Bachelor of General Studies. Jeffrey Ryan Juliska, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Glenda Jeanette Enriquez, Bachelor of Arts, Spanish. Jesus Sindenio Guiteres, Bachelor of Arts, Spanish. Samuel Paul Hansen, Bachelor of Arts, English. Andy Chiegi Muha, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Leanne Evette Centeno Moore, Bachelor of General Studies. Jada M. Carnley, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jennifer Denise Canavan, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Elizabeth F. Locke, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Mendy Bates, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Ariana Lachey Wright, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Katrina Lynn Patterson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Maria Elizabeth Raimundo, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Destiny Jacobs, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Kayla Sue Madera, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Kaylee Ann Corley, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Linnell Ellen Hill, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Ashley Danielle Watson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Stephanie N. Thomas, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Adrian James Whitaker, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Gina A. Belote, Bachelor of Science. Anna Lee Fryhover, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing. Jennifer Rose Perry, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Sean Evan Martin, Bachelor of General Studies. Shelby Page Staten, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Anna Margarita Cordoba, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing. Mary Kathleen Bassnett, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Haley Danielle Reyes, Bachelor of General Studies. Andy Martinez, Bachelor of General Studies. Kayla Ann Tharp, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Brianna Elaine Mall, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. 
Kelsey R. Mansell, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Whitney D. Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Krista Jo Baum, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Aaron Ray Harrison, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Tyler Ray Williams, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Jordan Lee Duff, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Allison K. Sandlin, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kaylin Scott Peters, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Daniel Alexander Peake, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Michael McNutt, Bachelor of General Studies. Justin Clint Harris, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Nicole Sarah Hutchison, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Jana Elizabeth Smith, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, accompanied by her grandfather, Dr. Davis Pritchett, Professor, Biology. <laughs> Kendrick D. Jones, Bachelor of General Studies. Jeffrey Dean Ramsey, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. David Michael Parks, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Sheila Nicole Gilbert, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jameson L. Collins, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Tia Johnston, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Kwan Min Ho, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design, Kum Honore, International Student from Vietnam. Bethany Kristen Young, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Britt Austin Owen, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Jenna Amber Lira, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Hey, how you doing? Deborah Lynn Burns Beckham, Bachelor of General Studies. Sandra K. Bosley, Bachelor of General Studies. Kyle Andrew Butler, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Julia Ray Marquise, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Andrea Claire Duha, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Elaine Annalee Pigeon, Bachelor of General Studies. <laughs> Jessica E. Sullivan, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Megan Leanne Austin, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Ryan Kelly, Associate of General Studies. Excuse me, Ryan Kelly O'Shane. Joshua Allen Holcomb, Associate of General Studies. Brandy Lynn Gabbard, Associate of Arts. Talisha Renee Newton, Associate of General Studies. Nicole Irene Clark, Associate of General Studies. 
Alex Clifton, Associate of Arts. Jody Marie Cabanillas, Associate of General Studies. Alexander N. Havro, Associate of General Studies. Siobhan Marie Sewell Dixon, Associate of General Studies. Luis G. Andrade, Associate of General Studies. David Perez, Associate of General Studies. Michelle Elizabeth Solano, Associate of General Studies. Ruby Teresa Shelton, Associate of General Studies. Christine Williamson, Associate of General Studies. Maisha Larray Campbell, Associate of General Studies. Rocio Gonzalez Arojo, Associate of General Studies. Brianna Danielle Johnson, Associate of Arts. Maria Bueno, Associate of General Studies. Caitlin Nicole Davidson, Associate of General Studies. Elizabeth Aurora Armenta, Associate of General Studies. Lexi Jaren McDaniel, Associate of Arts. Nadia Adina Palacios, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Cynthia Lachey Gregory, Associate of General Studies. Andrew Lee Trine, Associate of General Studies. David Ray Cooksey, Associate of General Studies. Jason Harris, Associate of General Studies. Please join me in applauding the graduates of the College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences. I invite you to please move your tassels to the left side of your mortar boards. Will the members of the audience please join me in one final round of applause to recognize these graduates. So graduates, graduates, please give a round of applause and thanks to the faculty and staff of the university in recognition of the roles they have played in the, in the attainment of your degrees. Please thank the faculty and the staff who helped you. And finally, graduates, I want you to look up into the crowd and I want you to give a round of applause to thank your parents, grandparents, spouses, friends, children for the encouragement, guidance, and love they've given you while you have pursued your degrees. Please thank those folks up in the stands. <laughs> Graduates, you may be seated. For a number of years, the Reserve Officers Training Corps has been active on the University of Arkansas Fort Smith campus. Students may enroll in the ROTC program through the United States Air Force or the United States Army. Our ROTC program prepares men and women for careers as professional military officers. Chancellor Barron, one of our graduates has received his commission into the United States Army Reserve. I am pleased to inform you that the final act of his commissioning will be accomplished on stage this afternoon. 
Adrian Whitaker will take the oath of office from Major Jason Hogue to signify his entrance into the office of Corps. I am pleased to introduce Major Jason Hogue, Assistant Professor of Military Science here at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. It is both an honor and a privilege to be here this afternoon. The Federal Oath of Officership is a time-honored tradition and a constitutional requirement that date back, dates back to 1789. Second Lieutenant Whitaker will take the oath this afternoon and receive his appointment as a commissioned officer in the United States Army Reserve. Lieutenant Whitaker, please come forward and receive the oath. Right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Adrian James Whitaker. Having been appointed an officer. Having been appointed an officer. In the Army of the United States. In the Army of the United States. In the grade of second lieutenant. In the grade of second lieutenant. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without mental obligation, without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Lieutenant Whitaker, thank you for allowing us to be part of this important event. We're honored that you'll be representing the University of Arkansas Fort Smith as you serve our country, and we wish you all the best as you continue your career as an officer in the United States Army Reserve. Let's give him another round of applause. Now we're going to have Eric Smithson, who is the chair-elect of the Alumni Advisory Council and a 2009 graduate of UAFS, greet you and address the graduates as new members of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Barron. Uh, good afternoon. It's uh, great to be back on campus and stand before the graduating class of 2017. I know that you're ready to take what you've learned and get out in the world and make a difference. Of course, that's what commencement means. It's not that you've ended something, but that you're ready to start something. Today really is the beginning of the rest of your life. Still, you might feel a little nostalgic as you think about the things you won't do anymore and people you're afraid you won't see anymore. But congratulations, you're now part of the UAFS Alumni Association and we can help you remain in contact with the people you care about. You don't have to wait until your fifth or 10th anniversary of reunion. The Alumni Association offers many events every year to allow you to stay connected and to make new friends. For instance, you might want to attend the alumni-sponsored event at Parrot Island Water Park on July 7th. Alumni publications will keep you updated on what's happening with your fellow alumni and on campus. So whether you're staying in Fort Smith Region or moving out of the area, your Alumni Association will help keep you up to date and provide you with personal and professional networking opportunities. But now we have one more item of business. As you exited the stage, our Director of Alumni Affairs, Rick Goins, handed you a card with a pen attached. You should all have that. Will you please take, take it out and remove the pen? You will see that the pin represents the bell tower on the campus green. 
Symbolically, it is both the center of the university and its highest point. When you look at the pen, we hope that it will remind you of your time on campus and the things you experienced and learned here. I ask that you now please rise. Now attach the pen to the left side of your clothing above your heart to show solidarity with more than 47,000 alumni worldwide who are lions forever. Thank you, you can be seated. Today, you join me and all of our fellow alumni who proudly call UAFS, West Ark, or Fort Smith Junior College their alma mater. As the latest graduating class, you are heirs to the tradition of the first graduating class of 1928 who adopted the motto, Through Diligence to Victory. I hope that you'll wear your pen as you go about your daily lives and tell people about your time on campus and invite them to contact the university to learn more about the opportunities it offers. If you find yourself talking to a fellow graduate who doesn't have a pen, pass yours on and contact the Alumni Association at the corner of Grand and Waldron to get another one. Graduates of any era are invited to request pens by calling or emailing the Alumni Association or just stopping by the office. Once again, congratulations on your special day and welcome to your University of Arkansas Fort Smith Alumni Association. Thank you, Mr. Smithson. We appreciate your words to the new alumni. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for, for joining us this afternoon for the spring 2017 commencement ceremony. Commencement is a time for ending one period of your life and a time for beginning a new phase. It's a time for celebration. I know you will take with you the knowledge and skills to excel in our modern and complex world, and we take pride in your accomplishments and wish you success in the future. We will conclude this commencement ceremony with our alma mater, the words to the alma mater may be found on the inside back cover of your program. Following the alma mater, we request that you remain at your seats until the recessional is complete. Please meet your graduates outside. <laughs> Chancellor Barron, I declare the afternoon ceremony, ceremony of the 97th commencement of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith adjourned. <laughs>